play. Uh, we'll be, I know you got to go. Um, I'm going to ask Marco Smith to come up to the microphone, also part of our steering committee, and uh, my uh, former uh, fellow student over at the School of Public Health. So, Marco, come on. Thank you very much for being here. We're the, the uh, citizens for, to save the Berkeley Post Office, and we have certificates of appreciation to these wonderful lawyers that helped us get through all of this. We have a certificate of appreciation for Tony Rossman and for Brian Turner and for Roger Moore and for Zach Cowan. And let me just briefly read it. We deeply appreciate their ability to take the strong connections of this community to its 100-year-old historic main post office and translate our heartfelt emotions into cogent and effective legal arguments. Let me tell you, when I was to the hearing and I heard the judge say to the post office, don't give me any more of that double speak. It made my heart beat. Don't give me any more of that double speak. His, their careful preparation and masterful exposition before the U.S. District Judge William Alsop of the issues involved in the sale and relocation of Berkeley's main post office. Their success in obtaining a court order requiring 42 days notice before a sale of Berkeley's main post office by the USPS and establishing Judge Alsop's jurisdiction until April 16, 2020. His counsel, their counsel on our presentation to the hearing to the President's Advisory Council on Historic Preservation that led to 15 adverse findings on the conduct of USPS in the disposal of our historic post offices. Their efforts against the odds to negotiate in good faith with the USPS to obtain a preservation covenant that would meet the needs of both the Postal Service and of this community, and their swift action to obtain an injunction from a federal district judge stopping the sale of Berkeley Maine's post office. The Committee for the Protection to, to Save the Berkeley Post Office is deeply appreciative, and we'd like to award you these certificates of appreciation. Margo, Margo.